All right, Hero Clonix here, next message Hero Clonix, transgender hate mail, homosexual hate mail, atheist hate mail, basically me reacting to a bunch of screen caps on YouTube and DeviantArt, and a response to comments I made against these Deviant lifestyles, and a few other things, trigger warning, if you don't like what I'm saying, go ahead and click off the video. Mm -hmm. Lie and say, and go watch something else. Through Lie and say, there's hate speech in my videos, because there is always hate speech in my videos. It's speech you hate, listen to my story. So continue on with you getting ticked off, in the, you're getting in the comment section, you're getting all ticked off, you're getting things wrong. Let me try to straighten them out with uh, oh, basic biology and bio versus, and then getting ticked off about that. Mm. Let's go here. And a uh, person says, Hey, Wilcox, a normal life based on truth. Dude, does this people live? Holy stuff. I don't know because I that word. And the reasoning is that it's literally impossible for me and every other trans person to be happy like we like without presenting ourselves lying about mm, our biology, uh, uh, the gender they identify. Uh, uh, so lying. Mm, uh, right, the text. Mm, mm, yep. So logically, the reduction in the scenario is death. You know, you know, rather than layers of one years of suffering that we don't know what we'll go through. Mm, you know. Also, I love how you just ignore my other comments and you had no argument against it. They left my vote off. You know, if that was the comment of uh, how God is improvable, uh, no, he's provable. You know, there's all kinds of stuff out there showing that he exists. What is not provable is that a male can be a, f a, a woman, mm, a female, mm, or a female can be a male. Mm, mm, mm. That is improvable. Mm, that's why you lie, because mm, you can't prove it. Mm. Can't say. Well, I, I, you know, I do you know the fact that I was born with testicles. I am a female. <laughs> you know, like, uh, yeah. Where's your uterus? <laughs> you know, your, your ovaries. Uh, you know, like, uh, 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 don't look at that. <laughs> your vulva. Like, you know, yeah, don't look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it's not. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> you know. I, yeah. You know, then the females are like, I am a male. <laughs> like, yeah, where, where's your penis and testicles? Like, I don't know. Need those. You don't need to look at those. <laughs> You don't need to see those. Uh, just take my word for it. Like, yeah, no, that's not, that's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. It is improvable uh, that a oh, person with testicles can be a female. Mm -hmm. A person with ovaries can be a male. It's, impro it's possible, impossible to prove that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the real thing. Anyway, uh, then I say, by only by defective logic, because mm -hmm. it's defective, mm -hmm. based on fear and wrong ideas. Uh, the reality is that sometimes dreams don't come true. Do not go true, and the best thing to do is let that dream, possible dream go, and do a better dream. Like learning to set your body as it is, and act where you want to act. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to do that because it requires saying no, mm -hmm. setting up against this for you, not conforming, mm -hmm. you know. That's the issue. You got to learn to do that. You got to learn to not conform to that nasty stuff. Let's go to this one called Getting on T Part 1. Mm -hmm. And I say, it was like those rad packs mm -hmm. I was talking to. I said, Getting on T will not make you male, it will just poison you. Mm -hmm. You'll never be male. You have to stop trying to be male and start learning to be yourself. You must learn to accept your body as is. It's so it says he, she is. Mm, you know, for real. Oh, actually, this is a good one. For real. Just like how making, you know, little makes or males who take estrogen will not make the person female. I like that one. Mm, you know. And then someone says, he's loving himself. He, she is loving himself. I mean, who he, she is. Amen. Through lies. <laughs> and testosterone isn't poison. Educate yourself through lies. I'm like, no. <laughs> you know. Then uh, someone says, too much testosterone is a bad thing. Just like, someone, uh, just like how too much estrogen is a bad thing. Mm, yeah. Estrogen is a bad thing. Continue on. True, true, true. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, and I say, no, she is not. She's rejecting reality, just like when she was dealing with her eating disorders. If she is accepting her body as is, she's not trying to transition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. Because girls trying to lie and say, oh, I'm not a, I'm not a female. <laughs> I'm not a female. I'm a, I'm a male. No, I'm a male. Mm -hmm. Where's your penis and testicles? Like, oh, I don't need, you know, you don't need that. <laughs> yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. You're born with penis and testicles. Uh, you're, that's a male. Mm -hmm. You're born with a vulva and ovaries. That's a female. Mm -hmm. Where's your penis and testicles? <laughs> like, uh, you know, I'll get those, you know, surgically attached someday. They're like, yeah, but that, those aren't real then. Mm -hmm. You know. And this person said, you're rejecting reality by calling him she, her. No, you're rejecting your, you know, reject, I'm rejecting your reality. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Trans people exist and are a part of life, whether you like it or not. If he, she was uncomfortable with the way he, she was, it's his, her right to change through life. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Also, loving yourself isn't always just about loving who you already are. It's about liking who you are and also being your best self, which sometimes means improving. Uh, not through life, though. Mm -hmm. And I say, I'm rejecting reality by acknowledging that she was born with ovaries, female organs. Mm -hmm. You are, but ignoring that fact, you're so confused. I do agree that people who make mistakes do exist. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. That was it for that one. Let's go here. Happy Trans Day of Visibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. That was interesting. Tucker Carlson talked about a Trans Day of Vengeance. Uh, I, I was like, I don't remember that. <laughs> you know, I don't like the transgender way of life, but I don't remember hearing anything about that. Mm -hmm. you know. 
There's no trans day of vengeance. Uh, yeah, he, he was a, a real sensationalist. <laughs> he really was. <laughs> it's just like, eh. Yeah, that one is situation where a girl, first of all, uh, was shooting up a Christian school, lying and saying she's a boy, and shooting up a Christian school did, did happen, but it wasn't a, a conspiracy where it's like a, a bunch of trans people are trying to, you know, band together and attack Christian schools. And, you know, that was a, a psychotic person and trying to just get revenge on people who may have caused harm to her, but she was, of course, dealing with it in the wrong way. That's, that's a different story. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, was, he was just saying, yeah, they're, they're, after, they're coming after us, man. They're coming after the Christians, man. They're gonna, we gotta fight them. We gotta do something. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> that's a little rough. <laughs> that's a little bit, um, you know, fear mongery there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's get him out of here. Uh, I, uh, I had someone said, I say, uh, the, the title of the, the video, I believe, was happy trans day of visibility. And I say, yes, and all your attempts to lie about your, and I lie about and hide your biological sex fail. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. And then uh, Sci Animations, another girl wants to be a boy, says, no one was lying about the biological sex, gender and sex are different. Mm -hmm, you know? And I say, well, then why, say a person, why say a person with well, testicles is a woman and a person with ovaries is a man? Those are lies. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. So the battle was joined, we fight. And then girls like, when women refer to gender and, and biological sex, mm -hmm. male and female refer to sex, mm -hmm, as well as men and women, male and men. Yeah, and women do. Their intersex are different. For some men, they identify different than their sex because they're lying. Mm -hmm. Your eyes, unless you're checking what's in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Okay, what's in? Everyone's pants. You probably walk. Well, you probably walk by a lot of trans people without even knowing. Lying people without even knowing. Mm -hmm. Putting people down with their genitals is not only weird but creepy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stop doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and someone says, say, oh, girls, 100% right. Look at any psychological textbook, they'll say the sex is biologically determined, or gender is culturally, socially created, meaning it's identity. <laughs> it has nothing to do with biology. <laughs> That's almost word for word from the psychological textbooks I have right next to me. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So then you can change by um, your identity without transitioning, <laughs> without lying about your biological sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? Are you closer? Yeah, you closer? There you go. A little better. There you go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're good. Go. Mm -hmm. Well, and I say, interesting that you say that I am creepy when you just confirm that they are lying. They are lying. Mm. They disguise that they disguise. This is so good that I might walk by without even noticing. Also, if gender identity has nothing to do with the body. Then why transition? Lie about your radical sex with for pronouns and deceptive clothing? Why say no? No one needs to know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because uh, that's conformity. Mm. That's to try and hide the truth that you think people won't like. For a lie that you think people will like, and that's bad. Mm -hmm. So now let's go. And Simon so just says, "Here we go." So you're saying it's creepy that someone wishes to present how they feel comfortable through lies? Yeah, mm -hmm. it is creepy. Stop it. Mm. Uh, let's say this was considered lying. It is mm -hmm. still. Why is it your business? Because lying is wrong. You gotta stop lying. Lying is bad news. Lying leads you on a bad path and away from God. Lying lives an abomination to the Lord. They don't do His light. You gotta stick with not lying. Get the lies out of here. Mm. You gotta get people liking truth and hating lies instead of liking lies and hating truth which is what's going on here mm. uh what good does it do that you know that information other than giving you an excuse to treat them like crap i'm like no it's to tell the truth and you're like yeah okay mm, that's how it is you're not lying to me that's good mm, i can trust you mm, you know you know decisions for themselves not other people you know, you know themselves so they can look good in front of other people mm, you know if you had something about yourself that you hated and made you uncomfortable and stressed you in your daily-to-day -day life through lies, wouldn't you want to fix it? Yes, well, you gotta do it through truth, mm -hmm. not lies. These things save lives through lies, mm -hmm. you know, and eventually they die anyway. Uh, people end it all. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. People end it all. You know, over this stuff. If you like you, who makes their lives harder and the vote their side of hating on them only makes it worse through lies. Mm -hmm. You know, you keep saying that doesn't work and show off that it doesn't work. Mm -mm. You know, they're like, what, what else do I have? Mm -hmm. I guess something else. Uh, truth. Mm -hmm. yeah, from trusting in God. Mm -hmm. But I was told lies that God doesn't exist. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. those lies. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know. mm -hmm. There you go. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
I say, actually, we save lives. Mm, the transgender way of life always leads to death. This is about trying to fix an internal problem. A person's thought process with an external solution. Like, like radical sex, try to trick people to trick you like you want them to. When all aspects of your body causes you stress, and you must learn to change the way you think.